Audio is literally like the least important thing when it comes to a wedding video. Just check this clip out. I'm Ashley, and Jenny and I have been friends since we were freshmen in high school. Okay, so obviously that was just crap. And that first clip in this video was the direct output from the speaker into the Zoom H6. In the room, it sounded good, the audio sounded fine, but that feed sounded like absolute dog poop. Thank God I had the splitter to go from that direct audio source into the Zoom H6. Hi everyone. I'm Ashley, and Jenny and I have been friends since we were freshmen in high school. Audio is probably one of the most, if not second to the most important thing when it comes to capturing someone's wedding film. In this video, I wanna talk about the five must-have pieces of gear to get through a wedding day and know you can deliver something with solid sounding audio. Now, during the ceremony, my main mics are actually the Tascams, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I want to specifically focus on how I use the Zoom H6. First input I use is going to come right off the board if there is a DJ and he does have that output available for me, or I'm going to take it out of the back of his speaker. Then my second input is going to be the dual mics on the top of the Zoom H6, just actually grabbing audio as it hits the mics from the speaker. Now, when I use the Zoom H6 for the reception, this is typically my only source of audio and I actually go in with ideally four input. The first one is going to be the dual mics facing right in front of the speaker capturing the sound as it comes out of the DJ speaker system. Then my second one is going to be a direct feed out of the back of his speaker into the Zoom H6 via XLR. My third one if this is available is going to be a quarter inch out of the wireless receiver from his mic directly into my Zoom H6 and this is where we're going to talk about the splitter but essentially what we do is we're going to unplug from his board the output from the wireless mic receiver and we're going to plug that into the input of my splitter then from the isolate out I'm going to plug that into my Zoom H6 and then we're going to do a direct out from the splitter as well back into his board so what we're doing and what this allows us to do is I'm going to get a feed directly from the mic straight to the Zoom H6 he also gets that same feed, it's just been split. When he makes adjustments on his board to gain up because his job is to make sure the room quality sounds the best, it's not gonna interfere at all with the feed I'm getting. So I'm getting a clean source of audio that's not being tampered with. Just like we experienced in that first clip of the video was the direct output from the speaker into the Zoom H6. That's what that sounded like. In the room, it sounded good. The audio sounded fine, but that feed sounded like absolute dog poop in my recorder. Thank God I had the splitter to go from that direct audio source into the Zoom H6. Do me a favor and leave a comment below if you're interested in seeing how I set up the Zoom H6 for the reception and what I do to grab all four sources of audio from the DJ. So now I want to talk about the Tascam DR-10L lob system. I use these for a ceremony. They give great audio. You are my person, my love, and my life today and always. I can't recommend these enough. These are part of the bread and butter when it comes to capturing a ceremony. They're nice because they record dual tracks. One's going to be at a normal level and then it records a safety track at a lower level. That way if you have clipping, most of the time you can go on that safety track and it's taken care of in system. So now I want to talk about the Rode Wireless 2 system. It's very convenient, it's wireless, and the battery lasts for about seven, seven and a half hours. I use this primarily as a shotgun mic on my camera, and the reason why I do this is because if someone starts speaking or saying something, I can always unclip it and I can move it closer to the individual that is speaking, or at least I have it running the whole time, and it does a pretty good job of picking up room audio. If you're interested in hearing what I did to get started as a wedding videographer, check out this video right here. So let's talk about shotgun mics. Now like I said, I use this as the shotgun mic on my main camera, but my wife uses a Sennheiser. I can't remember the exact model. I'll put it on the screen. And then we also have the Rode Video Micro um, Go. I think it's called Go. Not sure. We use that one on our Cam 3. That's usually the camera that's just a wide angle camera. That way it captures good audio for syncing up a post later. You definitely want to get a shotgun mic because you will use room audio more often times than not, or at least depending on your style. We do because even if it's just very undertone-ish, um, but when the bridesmaids are kind of like fawning over the bride and things like that, we like including those. The next piece of equipment I want to recommend is the Sony Handy Recorder. Now this thing was like $100. 
Um, it wasn't very expensive and it is a pretty decent source of audio and it's a very good backup just to have just in case. I've had situations where for some reason you know my three task cams are being used and I need one more lav mic. Those situations are typically if it's an outdoor ceremony there's a DJ that doesn't have a hookup for me in his outdoor set and they're gonna have like somebody read or something like that because I have the bride mic'd up, I have the groom mic'd up, I have the officiant mic'd up, and if they're gonna have like a reader or something like that, I'm gonna mic them up with that Sony Handy Recorder just so I can make sure I have a good source of audio from that as well. Do me a favor, if you found any value in this video and you'd like to see more like it, hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing and joining my community. I'm literally just trying to give away the knowledge I've learned, the mistakes I've made as a wedding videographer, and hoping to help new videographers out there. That's my only goal with this channel. So I hope you did find value in it, and we will see you in the next video.